Hello everybody. Today is an art haul. So I went to the art store and have been ordering online. Of course, I can't get everything at the art store. One thing about, I'm going to start off with the least exciting stuff, which is paper and tools. So I can't get the etcher sketchbooks at the art store that is in my area. So I did order this etcher sketchbook from, I think either from Jackson's or Blick. I can't remember. So it's a larger one than I'm used to. So I'm interested to know about, you know, how I'll like that. I think it is the same one I've used and it says landscape. So it would be like this. Let's just open it and we'll see and take a look at it. I'm sure it's just like my other one with the white cover. And only in a bigger format. Yes. So that's going to be fun to work in. And, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful sketchbook. I consider this my precious sketchbook. So I usually work in my Arteza sketchbooks, which I have plenty of those. And the visual, the Strathmore Visual Journal. So it, for practice and brush strokes. And then when I want a more finished piece, I have a workshop coming up in April that is just a sketchbook workshop. So I'm looking really forward to that. So the next thing I got was this multimedia paper and it's mineral paper. So it's, let's get that in the shot there. It's kind of like Yupo. So it is a, it says used with watercolor, gouache, graphite, colored pencils, charcoal, pastels, alcohol ink, inkjet. So I guess you could put it in a printer, acrylics, pen and ink and markers. So I, you know, I'm interested to know. It feels a lot like Yupo. It has a plasticky feeling. I did a test on it and you know you don't get the granulation this is green appetite genuine and there is some granulation but it's really smooth and it dries a lot slower so it it's kind of cool you know experiment you know we'll see and this I got some Kansen Mi Chins pastel paper. I've been working in uh, with pastel this past week and I was working in my sketchbook and the tooth of the paper just filled up right away. So I thought, oh, let me get some paper that has a little bit more tooth to it. And I like this past Mi Chins because it had different colors and I could do different backgrounds. I think I'll probably use you know, either a brown or a blue or a gray background to start with. I I'm, I'm want to learn how to do portraits. So, you know, another year, another learn. You got to keep learning to keep getting better. So I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone and going to try to do some portrait work. So, and then I got some premium sanded pastel paper. So we're gonna, we're gonna see, this is 400 grade UR. They say that that's one of the best um, papers that you can get. And I just got 10 sheets with glassine in the middle. And we're gonna, we're gonna try it. 
And then I got, I went, the art store I go to is, it's a Jerry's Artorama, but it's a, like a sub store, a sub corp of Jerry's Artorama. And it's called New York, or not New York, this is New York. Um, YourArtSupplies.com. So you can go on there and see what they have in their store, but it's a they order from Jerry's Artorama Corporate, and you know they could order from other places as well. I'm not for sure. I don't know that much about them. I just know I'd love to go in there. And this is the same paper that is used with the Painter's Color Diary. I don't know. I thought I'd get a block to try. It wasn't nearly ex as expensive as Arches. Okay, so the New York Art Supply 100% cotton block is the same paper as they use in the Painter's Color Diary. And I kind of like that. I don't think it's going to be as good as arches, but it is less expensive, so I'm going to give it a try for paintings, and I'll let you know how it does. Alright, so that's that one. And on Amazon, after I filled my um, porcelain palettes, I had a couple tubes that were running low, and I looked at the art store, and all they had was like plastic tube rollers and they had a metal one like for big tubes of paint it was it was huge it was about this big and it was $35 so I got on Amazon and I got this one and it was $9 so I thought I'm just gonna get this one it was the most used and it feels heavy but I want to get that paint out of those Daniel Smith tubes yeah it feels heavy and it says made in China but you know most things are these days so or a lot of things are so I'm just going to use that it feels quality I think that's just what I need to get the rest of the paint out of those tubes and some of those tubes I replaced. So I was just about at the end of, let me zoom in here. I was just about at the end of my naphtha maroon, my French ultramarine, my green appetite genuine. Those are colors I use all the time. And then I got some Daniel Smith Thalo, Blue, uh, Thalo Green Blue Shade and Cobalt Teal for some accent colors. I don't use it. I have Cobalt Turquoise, but this is much brighter and I don't know. I just, you know, I'll probably use the Cobalt Turquoise or I may gift it. I don't know. I don't know. I. I change my mind a lot and then carbazol violet and I might put a dollop of this on my primary palette because I can find that to be quite useful in um, mixes so I got those and then I got some water soluble graphite and I got this for a couple reasons. I got it for to just out of curiosity and I've seen it on YouTube videos. I've seen some incredible graphite drawings that just look so realistic and they were using watercolor graph or water soluble graphite and I don't know if this is PBK 10 or how that works, but I I swatched it, but I'll go over some swatches with you guys in another video. And 
then I got some graphite products. Got these at the art store. This is just General's Jumbo Compressed Graphite. I'm wanting to do some graphite drawings and work on my values and stuff. So I figure instead of getting messed, you know, all bogged down in color, I would just work in graphite. And these are different leads or hardnesses. 2B, 4B, and 6B. And then I got this 8B in Credicolor. It's it's a round. So I got different um, different lead softness, which will different value ranges. So and then I got this cool Marie's. It's a huge, it's a 6B, and it is a lead pencil, and it's really, really thick. It's super, super thick, and it doesn't say how, oh, it's 5.6 millimeters. And in here, in this box, it was, it sold them together. There's HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, and 8B. So, yeah, I thought, you know, if I was sick and tired of, um, you know, getting my hands dirty, you just push that back in there and it goes back in. And I think, I'm not for sure, but I think there's a way to sharpen this. I'm gonna have to read about it or watch a YouTube video. I usually end up watching a YouTube video because it doesn't seem like um, things come with a with instructions anymore. A lot of things don't. It just comes in the box and you gotta figure it out yourself. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited in doing some graphite work. So I'm pushing myself out of the box this year and and just going to try to, you know, learn some new things. I also got this Daniel Smith limited edition and it's a set of three. And I thought, you know, a couple of these colors I already have. I have Transparent Oxide and I have Imperial Purple. This has Christmas Tree Green in it. And the pigments in, and that's all it came in this big packaging. The Christmas Tree Green is a limited, limited color. So I don't know if they're going to remake it. Maybe, you know, it's got raw sienna in it, PBR7, and phthalo blue, PB15. So I tell you, though, one thing about it, it smells like Christmas tree. It smells like pine. So I was so excited when I swatched them out. And maybe I'll show some of that footage in another video when I'm doing swatches. But this is just about what I got. And I got these as some of it I used gift cards because my mom couldn't figure out what to get me. So I said, just get me a gift card. So she did, she just got me a Visa gift card. And then I did pick up just a color wheel just to keep in my travel bag um, as reference. So I'm hoping I didn't get this out of focus, but anyway, I'll show you. It is transparent yellow oxide, imperial purple, and Christmas tree green and that Christmas tree green smells like 
pine and you know they're 15 ml tubes so and this whole thing was $29 you might even watch for sales you know they might be having sales on this um, limited limited edition so okay then I picked up a couple different Rosa paint palettes. I got the, I'm loving these Rosa um, watercolors. They're really soft, but you know, I really like them. I really think that the colors are vibrant and I think they're going off of Amazon. So I picked up a couple that I could. They're so affordable. I think I got this one for oh 29 or something like that i can't remember exactly i'll link it in the description below wherever i find it if i can find it or you know i'll link the rosa gallery page and you can kind of look i think they have a rosa gallery store on amazon i'll try my best to give you the best links i can and then I got the botanical set with 28 colors. This has 14 colors. And I picked this one up because it has Naples Yellow Light and Naples Rose, Opera Rose. All the other colors are in the other set. And, but they're cadmiums. I can't pass them up because they're cadmium yellows and they're so beautiful. Cadmium orange. Um, they're just really, really beautiful colors. And then I got the botanical set, and the botanical set had a lot of different colors in it. Um, and the titanium white. And I think I'm going to order a couple other pans of titanium white. Because when it's mixed to make the pastels for flowers, it is just gorgeous. So I am, it, I mean, it is just gorgeous. And there's this black down here, and it's called Black Grape. And it was just a really pretty black with a violet undertone. I am obsessed with these paints. I'm totally obsessed with these paints. So, and they're so affordable. That's, you know, and there's a few colors I want. I want the cobalt teal, and I want um, coral. And so, you know, yes, you can mix a coral, but, you know, I really want those two colors. So I think you can buy them in little pans on Amazon, and Jackson's carries the Rosa brands for sure now. Okay. Okay, so the next, let me straighten that out. That looks a little crooked. The next thing I bought was a Windsor and Newton palette. Um, I think it was a Blick curated one. I, I just can't find a Windsor & Newton palette and pans anymore except that travel kit and I don't want the travel kit I wanted these um, the 24 set and pans and I would have chosen different colors however this is beautiful beautiful tin it's got the Windsor & Newton label on it or um, Windsor & Newton logo and I gifted my other set because Windsor Newton is not my favorite. However, I still want a set in my collection. So I found this, I'm not gonna open it. I'm going to keep it in this pristine condition. And, but I'm a collector, collector of watercolor. So I, <laughs> You know, it brings me joy, so I will continue 
to collect the new things and I might get some other colors and put in these slots here. I don't know if they'll fit. No, they won't fit that way for sure. But they might fit that way. I don't know. So, I'm just going to keep this pristine condition like it is. And it will do everything I need it to do if I ever decide to use it for any reason. Or I may end up gifting it again, you know. And I have a, you know, grandson that loves to do art. One kid, that one grandkid out of 11 grandchildren that likes art. So, you know, this is just for my collection. I'm not going to open it. I don't know. Somebody, you know, but they're not my favorite, but I still want it. So, that is that. Now, this next one is kind of exciting. Oh, well, let me do this one first. I did get some uh, a small set of pastel pencils. This is the Bre the Breville Breville's Credicolor, and I tried some samples out in the store. They're kind of not in order. Oh, I got this charcoal pencil in. I must have left another one because I had them all out and stuck in a cup right side up so but when I need detail in um, pastel work I'm gonna need a pencil so just to get those fine fine details so I just got a 24 set if I end up liking them I can they said they're sold open stock so I can add to my colors if I want and or I can buy a bigger set down the road so but they are they go on very very nice so that's that I I can swatch them at a later date if you like and if you like to um, watch me swatch then I do you know let me know what you want to see first and you know we can set up a video for that now I'm kind of late on the bandwagon here, but I did get a, let me zoom out a little bit, kind of late on the bandwagon, but I finally did get the Ganzai Tambi Art Nouveau. I, I've already swatched them. And I did record that, so if you'd like to see some footage of that, you can let me know in the comments below, or I'll just post at a later date. Um, but these are really, really pretty, and I really, really like them. So I might collect the rest of the watercolors in this set. I think there is hundred. I don't know if I'll get the box set of a hundred. Um, I might just get some different palettes. Miranda Watson has some um, palettes that fit these that she bought off of Etsy. I might try looking into that. And um, because this is, you know, there's no good place to swatch them or mix them or I think they're just meant to go straight in and on the paper but they are beautiful paints it's just a it's a really fun fun colors fun colors so okay this last set I ordered is gouache I have to give a disclaimer here. I ordered it without thinking about the weather that was coming through. So we had sub, I don't know if it was sub zero. I think a couple nights it got below zero, but it was 
the FedEx guy left it out and it just had a block of ice over it. So I do not know how these are going to turn out. It's water media. You know, it's, it's squash. It's not acrylic gouache. So I don't know. We can just look and see on a paper plate and see how they're going to be. I'm sure these were frozen solid. You know, I, I'm sure of it. So they're not now. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out. I don't know about the texture. I think they're going to be fine. You know, I'm just going to have to see. I'm not going to send them back because... because it was my bad. I should not have ordered these in the winter time. I would suggest that they look like they're going to be nice though. Let me get a piece of paper swatch. Yeah, they look like they're going to be nice. This is just directly out of the tube. They're nice and creamy. So we'll see. They may be just fine. You know, um, it's a watercolor medium. You know, it's basically watercolor. So I'm anxious to try these. So that's that, but I do not recommend buying materials in the winter time. So, all right. I got one more thing that you guys will like. So it's exciting. It's an exciting purchase. It's, it's my favorite thing so far, I think. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so this last thing that I got, I ordered off the internet and it is something I've been wanting for a long time. And I got three different colors. So it is so exciting. I got the Whiskey Painters travel palettes. They are teeny tiny travel bijou boxes. And I got one in red. And they come with a little, they sent a lot of pans. They sent full pans. which is probably what I'll use. Oh, and they go in fine. And half pans. They didn't send too awful many full pans. I sent more half pans. And I think you can make, you know, you can redo them how you like. And then they have sent a little water container that you, I, I actually thought it would be 
a little bit more substantial. This is it closes fine. This is crimson red, I think. Let's put that back in there. This was limited edition. Uh, there was two that was limited edition. That's why I um, I bought two. They come with a little chamois cloth, some business cards. It says artist refill water brush, but there is no water brush in here. All right, so that's okay. I have plenty of water brushes. And here is some instructions on how to put it together. Fill the pans and let them dry before you place them in the pan. Okay, so then I got, let's save that one for last. And then I got this one, which is a limited edition. It is Wisteria. It's a lavender. And it comes with a little brush. I wonder if you... I'm going to have to mess with that for a little bit. So, the brush is just a teeny tiny synthetic brush. It's really more, it's a tribal brush and it can be used, but I probably wouldn't use it. So there's that. But there's a thing to hold it shut, you know, that's that's cool. This will just go in my collection. This one here, this white one, I got, and it does have the um, the water container in it. It's it's the flask. So that's cool, and maybe that's what the full pans are for. So I'm going to have to watch a YouTube on that. So I can get them in there right. But, you know, this will hook on the side. And then, you know, of course you can put water in this. And it looks like it's brass, so it won't rust or anything. It's got the thumb ring. They was a little pricey, so, you know, I'll do a video um, or I'll film me filling these pans, and, but I just got them from my collection um, with some of my Christmas money, so, that is it, you guys. That's what I got for Christmas and or got myself for Christmas. So thanks for joining me. Let me know what you think of these items um, and if you have some of them. This kind of wants to fall off.
So that's maybe why they give you this. Oh, it'll loosen up in time. And then that, you can just have your water palette, your watercolor. I don't like how it jiggles, but maybe once it's full and put in there right. We'll figure that out as time goes. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think of my items in the description below. Give this video a like and subscribe and watch that next video. Thanks. Bye.